So I have a wardrobe pole that's bent and collapsed. So I'm going to replace that. So one of the first things you can do is, this one's bent, so if I just press down on it, flat out, then I can use a ruler to measure it. And then I can get the exact measurements of what I need for the next pole that's going back up to replace it. With this type of fitting here, the rod doesn't go all the way to the bottom. So you have to account for that in the length of the pole. Now I think the reason why this one collapsed is the pole was too short and it just slipped out one end and then one by one all the supports just kept coming out, ripping the, the screws out of the wood. So when I'm cutting this pole I'm just going to cut it with a, a little bit extra length and see if that helps cure the problem. So this one needs to be about 215.5 so I'm going to add on a couple of millimetres because I think this one was probably just a little bit too short. So I've got a conduit cutter and this one is rated for cutting aluminium, copper and iron rod. So I've only cut copper with this one so I'm going to try it out on the old rod first and just make sure that that's okay. So we just wind that back, put the cutter onto the rollers and just tighten up until it's just starting to bite and then we just rotate it around and every rotation we just keep on tightening the handle a little bit so now that's cut off and there's really no sharp edges on that, um, there's some sharp edges on the inside but since that's going to be located inside here then that's not going to matter but main thing is that it's made a, a clean cut which is good so I'll just do that on the bit that I've marked here Perfect. So I'm just going to remove these old ones and replace them with some new ones. So because these fittings are the same size as the old ones, I could have got away with using the old ones apart from this one here, where because the pole fell out at one side and lay on the floor, the other end just got bent. So I'm just going to replace them all. The other thing I'm going to do is because the screws that were used were uh, rather small I'm going to use larger ones because I've got space in the material that I'm drilling into for that length of screw so that's what I'm going to do and that should keep it up. So I'm just going to screw this new one back up. Now when it comes to the middle brackets, you've got to remember that you can't put them up yet until you've put the brackets on the pole, otherwise how are you going to get your pole through those holes? So now is the time to take your pole, put it into the end it's up, put the other end on, and then just see... Okay, that looks like it's going to fit. Just. So now that I know that's going to fit, Let's put the two middle ones brackets on. So now that I know where those screw holes are going to be, I'm going to drill some pilot holes. So I'll put the bracket over the end and then just slot in the other end. And then let's screw this in. 
Now we can do the same thing for the middle bracket, so just put a bit of wax on the screw. And then we just repeat the same with the last bracket. So now the wardrobe lives on to fight another day. I think this tool is so cool. Cheerio!